Hello beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dida and Elizabeth. And if you are not already subscribed, you should go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. For those of you all who are new to this channel, I am on my weight loss journeys. I've been on my weight loss journey for a couple of years now. And I have dedicated my life to helping so many people get inspired, get motivated to go after whatever it is that they want. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a weight loss journey Q&A. If you're a regular to my channel, I posted a question on my YouTube community asking you guys what are some, you know, troubles, some obstacles that you guys may be going through. Today I'm just going to scroll through and answer them. Okay, this one. I'm doing well with the weight loss, thanks to you truly, but the abdominal area I need exercises or things I can focus on that will help with that. Do you have any on um, uh, any ideas? Do you have any ideas you could show about the area? Okay, so I get this question a lot, and I know a lot of people are super duper concerned with their abdominal area. And I just want to tell you right now today that your stomach will be the last place to lose. And if you're looking for a specific exercise, if you're looking for a specific amount of exercise that you should be doing exercise is great because it helps you stay within that deficit but when you're trying to focus on losing that abdominal area nutrition will be your key one thing that we have to realize is that right that area right there is strictly body fat and the only way to drop body fat is to make sure that we are in a caloric deficit so when you're looking to lose your abdominal area you need to be thinking how can I make sure that I'm in a deficit? And not just saying a deficit for one or two months. If you're a person that have a lot more work to do, as far as me, I had to lose a lot of weight and I still have more weight to lose. And as y'all can see, I still have a stomach. So I still will need more consistency with my deficit in order to see that area decrease. So whenever you think I want to lose my stomach, you need to be thinking caloric deficit. Lose stomach caloric deficit need to be right next to each other when it comes to get into that area. Now, exercise will also be key. Making sure you're strength training because the more muscle you have, the leaner you will appear. Yo, and if you have not made it to strength training yet, you should start thinking of ways to incorporate that, whether it's at the gym or at home, because it's plenty of strength training exercises you could do in your room at your house and there's plenty of exercise that you could do at the gym so it doesn't necessarily specifically have to be a certain place but just looking into resistance training and strength training to making sure that you're building muscle over time while you're dropping that body fat and remember the key to dropping that body fat is being in a caloric deficit you could go to the gym six days a week but if you're not consistently eating less than you burn off and i know that's in simple terms you need to be watching your macros making sure you are taking enough protein that will be your key to making sure you're making progress making progress in a period of time and remember the more consistent you are with hitting those numbers the better your results i've seen people work out for years and still have a stomach area just because that area is super super duper stubborn and it takes time to lose so wherever you hold the most weight at that nine times ten will be the last place for you to lose like sometimes you see people hold a lot of weight in their arms so yes they could lose a lot of weight but their arms are still kind of lag behind because that's the area that holds the most fat so that doesn't mean okay you will never lose your stomach or your arms will always be big that just means as for me with with what i have and the goals that i want i have to work a little bit harder and i have to be super duper consistent like that's the mindset that we always want to have don't be quick to compare yourself to anybody else's journey focus on where you are now focus on what you can control and focus on thinking big thinking consistent thinking like i'm dedicated i'm gonna stick to this and i'm gonna go hard for me okay